Level 3 Harris has introduced its innovative amorphous software, which allows for the simultaneous management of thousands of autonomous objects through a single user interface. This marks a new stage in the development of drone and unmanned vehicle management systems for the U.S. armed forces and their allies. Amorphous stands out from traditional solutions due to its open architecture, enabling the simultaneous control of various types of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, as well as ground and marine drones, even if they are from different manufacturers. This significantly expands the coordination and effective deployment of different types of equipment in combat conditions. A key feature of Amorphous is its support for decentralized decision-making, allowing each drone to act independently, performing its tasks and making tactical decisions in real-time while being part of the network. This flexibility opens new possibilities for the use of unmanned vehicles across various fields. As John Rambo, president of L3 Harris Integrated Systems, pointed out, autonomy is a force multiplier which is why the amorphous system was designed as a multifunctional, multi-domain system capable of rapidly integrating diverse devices without the need for human crews on the battlefield. The amorphous software has already demonstrated its integration and interoperability capabilities during government trials, where it controlled several different types of drones simultaneously. Currently, the company is developing prototypes of the system for U.S. Army contracts and the Defense Innovation Agency. In addition, Ukraine is also making ambitious strides in drone technology development. For example, the company Swarmer is working on the Stick system, which is designed to unite a group of drones into an autonomous network. In this system, the operator only needs to select a target and authorize its destruction. The system is expected to greatly enhance the scale of drone usage, allowing each drone to plan its own actions and predict the behavior of others in the swarm. Demonstration tests of the Stick system, conducted in October 2024, showed its high efficiency and potential. The involvement of Ukraine's Ministry of Defense and other state agencies in these trials highlighted the importance of adopting such technologies to improve the country's defense capabilities.